What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're here with another patch review, a patch rundown, a patch info drop, giving you the info, giving you the knowledge. It's patch 2.4c baby. Let's get into it. All right, patch 2.4c. Step right up partners, grab your biggest iron and place it on your hip because it's high noon, the best time for hunting demons. We're random some of our peskiest varmints with balance changes aimed at curbing snowballing power. And with Nudu Live and Aram permanent, there's plenty of snowballs to go around already. Yee, and we might add Hall, welcome to patch 2.4C. So patch 2.4C, pretty exciting. This will be the patch we play on at the Stockholm offline event. If you guys aren't familiar, play for no team, no talent. Um, we'll be playing at the first official European LAN um, for Wild Rift, and this will be the patch we're playing on. It's pretty exciting stuff. Let's take a look, shall we? All right, new skins, High Noon, Lucian, and Senna. Finally, dude, you know, Lucian's actually unplayable without High Noon, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. High Noon, it's it's a world of difference. It doesn't seem like much, but the skin feels incredible. I'm hoping it feels the same in Wild Rift. It was an insane skin in PC when it came out. The animations are like so smooth and he, 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 it feels like a different champion, which is so weird, um, but it's a really cool skin. Hope, I, hope they do, I hope they do it justice. Accessories, you can earn more push accessories with a bunch of different sources. What do we got? We got a little, a little tip emote. That could be pretty good. I might start using this one for BM. This one's got potential. Definitely the high new illusion here, you know. Hit him with a tip. It's thank you kindly, but I think I think it's got some BM value to it. Champion changes. Lucian. After being nerfed and in his core items taking a hit two, Lucian's at a two week. We're giving a little power back in his health and a dash to put him in a bit more stable state. So 40 base HP and reverting the cooldown uh, nerf to his dash that he received a few patches ago. I think it was 2.4a. Uh, overall, pretty good changes, I think. Uh, at least personally for me, Lucian just dropped on the face of the planet, which is kind of unfortunate because he's one of my favorite champions. And I'm sure you guys have heard me express in the past. Uh, so excited to see him get a little bit of power back. Um, I think it's still pretty awkward because, yeah, his core items got really nerfed. He doesn't really have any other builds, I think, that feel as effective as that one did. Uh, but maybe something will pop up. Um, and we might start to see Lucian in the mid lane again, hopefully. Although, at the same time, they did just rework him on PC to make him a bot laner, so I don't know if they want to keep that identity going for Wild Rift. Maybe we'll see some of the changes that he got on PC making him a bot laner in the future. Especially if these boss, I suppose, don't give him much of a power uh, swing. Which could definitely be the case. Ramus. Ramus is overperforming with the last set of changes, which are aimed at improving his early jungle clear without making him overbearing. Keeping within the same direction, we are giving him a tune down on his PvP scaling, but also amping up his bonus damage to monsters to keep his clear relatively equal in power. Uh, so powerful, later ranks, big nerf. Um, it's plus 5 at rank 1, and then minus 10, minus 15, 25, and then minus 40. It's pretty substantial later, later rank damages. Um, and then defensive bull curls, armor ratio is going down, but it's and its active armor ratio is going down, but it's doing more damage to monsters. So he's getting a little bit of a, a higher clear, but overall damage reduction across the board. Uh, I don't really have any issues with Ramus. Not really sure why this is happening. But overall, <laughs> if he's doing too well, I guess it's a good change. Uh, Rengar. Rengar's early game is too strong at the moment. Tweaking down his early games, so we can't snowball as easily as before. I do think those last Rengar nerfs they did didn't really seem to make much of a difference. So, you know, excited to see some base damage lowers. This definitely feels like it rains in a lot of junglers. Like, I didn't think the Xin Zhao and Kha'Zix nerfs would be that substantial. And I do think they're both still very playable, um, but they definitely feel noticeably weaker. Um, so I think these base damage changes, Riot have kind of realized that these are kind of a good way to knock a champion that's overperforming a little bit. Um, so yeah, prob probably a good change. Hopefully it'll make Rengar feel a little bit weaker. Sona. Sona's been hitting all the high notes in recent times. Rather than impact supportive capabilities, we think trimming down her damage dealing would fit her utility identity a bit more. We're also increasing her ultimate's cooldown slightly to give opponents some more breathing room when dealing with her game-changing ultimate. Um, so we've got him of valid damage down at later ranks. Um, minus, so it's the same at rank 1 and then minus 5, 10, 15. Active AP ratio lowered and then ally aura bonus damage AP ratio lowered as well. And plus 10 seconds on Crescendo. Um, I don't know about Sona Solo Q, but obviously Sona Seraphine is quite relevant, at least within Europe competitive play. Um, my cat's moving in the corner of my eye. Uh, so this is a slight knock to that duo, I suppose, but overall, probably not too much of a difference because it didn't really hit any of her healing utility, which is kind of a core, core, like, core component of the, of the duo and how they function. Didn't really make much of a change to that. So overall, I don't see this really lowering their strength that much. Uh, obviously, the old nerf, you know, 10 seconds. 10-5-10 is so weird, but yeah, 10 seconds, uh, basically, 
uh, at every rank it is noticeable um but the champion builds a lot of ability case naturally uh so overall you'll probably end up with the ultimate ending up in a roughly similar cooldown in the mid late game anyway uh and yeah not not too big a change i think overall probably still see her playing a competitive i don't think she's a great solo queue champion in general and not really great as like a champ on her own without doing like a sona seraphine thing but um you know i, th I think it's uh, this will maybe make her lane phase a little bit weaker. I don't even know if she maxes her first ability, to be honest. I don't even know what Clue does. <laughs> like, just, he just he just spams heal and team player, right? That's, that's all you gotta do. And they didn't really hit that play style, so I think she'll probably be fine. Tebow. Huh. Tebow is owned former across the board. He's getting some hefty general nerfs to his defensives to make him even more squishable. Uh, base health regen going down, health per level going down by 10. Base armor going down and armor per level going down. This is like one of the most substantial base damage I've think we've ever seen, and it's on Tebow for some reason, who I don't think is much of a threat, but uh, apparently he's he's dominating somewhere. So Tebow has less base stats. Guess we won't be seeing any Timo at Stockholm now. Real shame. He was just climbing up in the meta, and they they take swing the nerf, but Adam, disaster. And then gameplay changes, item Zeke's conversion, so we're seeing enchanters as a whole eclipsing most tank supports in performance, as well as Zeke's being a common buy, but showing a relatively poor win rate for the tank support class. Um, Zeke's is getting some moderate buffs, so you can get the meta in a healthier space for the support class as a whole. I think this is a interesting justification because I, I guess even though it's, if it's being built commonly, you could say that bad players would be building it as well, right? Or players that wouldn't be as good as support. I think Zeke's is like a staple in almost every recommended item build for supports, especially tanks. I mean, even stuff like Rakan has Zeke's as like a recommended. So let's say like autofill support players would probably build Zeke's, which would definitely lower the win rate, assuming that they don't perform. So I think when something is a common buy, you kind of would expect it to have a lower win rate, I think, most of the time. Um, because especially when it, like, it's recommended. I think most of the better support players don't build Zeke's. They normally go for stuff like Dead Man's Plate. Um, so I think it's good that they're buffing it, but I think the justification is it's not entirely on point. Um, but yeah, a slight reduction in the total cost. Um, her combined cost being lower by 100. The Frost co Frostfire Covenant slow is going up by 10%, and the magic damage per second is going up. So I actually think that's pretty good. I think that, yeah, I like that they're changing the active components of the item rather than just giving it more stats and stuff. Um, but actually, the stuff that you, like, interact with, like, uh, is what's getting buffed. So I think that's pretty cool. I'd like to, I, I do like the idea of Zeke's. I think it's a pretty cool item. I like the Frostfire effect thing. So yeah, I think this would definitely make it a bit... I think definitely the slow power being increased... Um, seems quite substantial to me, actually. So I can definitely see it getting built a bit more often on tank supports. Um, I, I do definitely agree that the support itemization is in kind of a weird state where, like I said, most supports, they kind of just build tank items. They just got like Dead Man's Plate because it has move speed, for example. Um, and it just lets them do more than kind of the utility options that Zeke's provides. The problem with support itemization in general is if you make it too good, uh, you know, other roles start building it and then it becomes a problem when like it's like you know, three, four Zeke's in a game or something, and everyone's just spamming Zeke's and it's broken. Um, I'm not saying that will happen with these buffs, but that is something you need to be wary of. So I, I definitely understand them being a bit light-handed with these changes overall. And then, yeah, with the free play champion rotation coming out, pretty small patch overall, not, not much going on. Um, but maybe they maybe they actually were considering the fact that we have Stockholm coming up uh, and they wanted to give us a lighter patch. I don't know, but this is the last patch of the 2.4 cycle. Um, the next patch will be the Major 2.5, I believe. So that's pretty exciting stuff. Um, let me just check that for you guys, just to make sure I'm not spouting nonsense, but I'm, I'm pretty confident that's, that's what it is. Um, so October 9th is the supposed release date for 2.5. So maybe we'll get one more round uh, of updates. October 9th is a really weird day because it's a Friday. So maybe this is outdated and we will see it on like October 5th or something, I don't know. But either way, probably the last patch of 2.4. I don't know if they said that in the patch and I missed it, maybe. Um, I guess I didn't specify. So maybe there is a 2.4D coming, who knows. But either way, you know, pretty small patch, not a lot going on. Uh, Lucia buffs might be pretty good. Maybe he'll start making an appearance in the mid lane again or the bar lane. Uh, Rengar nerfs seem pretty good, definitely, especially in solo queue, a bit overbearing. The rest of it, not super substantial, I think. Um, this Lucian emote, very exciting. High noon Lucian, cracked. Very excited for that one. But yeah, thank you guys for checking this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to leave a like if you did. Make sure it really helps out the channel. Leave a comment down below. What are you excited for on this patch? Because uh, <laughs> you ain't got much chance. <laughs> but uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, we'll be playing in the Origin Series uh, Stockholm Final on this patch on the 25th. 
24th? 20 something? Uh, yeah, so make sure to check that out. And you can also subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thank you guys for checking this out. Appreciate you. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And I will see you next time. Peace.